Hey there guys, what's up? It's your boy Pixel Talk, back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. Today's video is going to be us reviewing the Arturo Vidal foot birthday card SBC that has just dropped in FIFA. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Right then guys, welcome back to the video where we can now review this beautiful card of Arturo Vidal full SBC analysis of the card as you guys know with me you get this stuff if you guys don't get this stuff anywhere else that's the reason to hit the subscribe button make sure you do but let's get into it pace acceleration 83 sprint speed 82 for a centre mid or a CDM whether or not you guys play him with CDM or centre mid because he could he could play anywhere I mean this card looks delicious the stats are insane they look nuts especially the acceleration and the sprint speed for recovering on balls or attacking uh, opponent players in midfield those are very very good stats that you'd want on a card like this it's incredible then we go into the shooting 90 attack position 85 finishing 92 shot power 90 long shots 85 volleys 89 penalties but those are incredible incredible shooting stats for CDM in my opinion if I was to get this card I play with CDM a lot of you guys might play in box to box in a 4-1-2 on two narrow or in a 4-4-2 or whatever formation you guys uh play let me know in the comments section down below if you guys are actually going to go after this card as well as we get into the segments after we've gone through the in games right then we go on to passing passing is 88 vision 83 crossing 74 free kick accuracy 88 short passing 87 long passing and 84 curve again with the 85 finishing could pop a couple uh, finesses in there. A couple top bin finesses. You love to see it. It's a great card, especially especially when it comes to uh, linking up players across the pitch as well. That uh, that calf could get, make the ball just drift past the player, an opponent player, quite easily, and get the ball to your player on the other side of the pitch. So that's an awesome, awesome, awesome stat to have. Those are nuts. And then we get into the dribbling. 82 agility, 86 balance, 95 reactions, 91 ball control, 85 dribbling, 89 composure. These are key stats. Agility balance are quite high for a player like Arturo Vidal because I would deem him as that agile or that uh, or to have that much balance anyway. But seeing that he's not that tall, he'll have that low center of gravity, which is good. But this card, I mean, this card looks so good. Maybe the new, the, maybe the new Hullet. It may be the Hullet from the Calcio. You never know. According to these stats, so far it looks it. But basically, yeah. 95 reactions as well, 91 ball control, Jesus Christ, 89 composure, oof, that's nutty. Then you go on to defending, 90 interceptions, 87 heading accuracy, 86 defensive awareness, 92 stand tackle, 90 sliding tackle. Uh, the tackling stats, the 92 and the 90, are very sick when you add them to the composure. That's actually nuts. I, this card is so sick, by the way. This is That's crazy when you compare that. I, that's why I'm telling you guys, I play MCDM. And then we move on to the physical stats. 86 jumping, 90 stamina, 87 strength, 97 aggression. Very, very, very sick stats when it comes to one-on-ones with opponent players trying to take them off the ball, trying to win them 50-50s in midfield that we all lose quite often. Maybe this card can stop you, uh, you guys from losing them and actually secure you guys more 50-50s. Right, we'll go on to the player traits now. One of them is a CPU AI, so I'm not going to count that. The other one's power header. So that's awesome when you're coming from corners, actually getting the guy to jump and try and head the ball into the back of your net. That's awesome. As we go into the skill moves and weak foot now, the five star skills, four star weak, awesome. High, high work rates as well. Beautiful. I say this card, based on the stats, it's a top. But, let's have a look at the SBC. There are three segments. One of them is a PM Monte Calcio one. So you need a PM Monte Calcio player. A team of the week, 84 with 75 chem. Chem quite high, rate quite high. Team of the week, they're through the roof at the moment. Expensive first SBC. Then you have the 85 overall with a team of the week, a Serie A and a 70 chem. Chem's a bit lower on this one, lower by five. Team overall still really high at the 85. Team of the week players again through the roof because you guys are going to need like an 82, 83, 84 team of the week. City A players, you guys know, they can be quite expensive at times. And then we go to top form. Team of the week, 86, 65 chem. So the chem has been lowered by 10 throughout the three segments and it's gone up by two in rating. I think for the price, this card is overrated. Okay, you get a 30k pack back, a small rare gold players pack, so that's half a 50k, so that's a 25k pack. And a prime mix, which I don't know what that is. If you guys know what pack that is, let me know in the comment section down below. Like, based on coin value, how much that would be. But, all in all, I have to say, this is, unfortunately, a flop. Unfortunately, this is a flop. I'm sorry, Vidal. I liked you when you were playing at Barca, when you were playing at Bayern Munich. 
all they need to go. Leverkusen as well. But my guy, you're just a bit overrated. But with that said, this has been the Warpix of 12. If you guys, like I said, are going to complete this card, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys have liked this video, please leave a like and please subscribe. I mean, that would be greatly appreciated. I'm banging out videos pretty much daily for you guys now. As you know, back on that grind. And I'll catch you guys very soon in my next video. Peace.